Grade 5 math, number 9.2, ordered pairs. This is a coordinate grid. It's got two number lines, one that's going sideways, it's called the x-axis, and another one that's going up and down vertically called the y-axis. See that? You can see the numbers on the number line, and you can put points on it, okay? Each point on a grid can be located by its x-axis number and its y-axis number. They're written in x-y order in parentheses and separated by a comma, like this. This is the x number and that's the y number. This is an ordered pair. They're in x-y order, which is alphabetical order, to help you remember it. We call the x number the x-coordinate. It tells us the horizontal location. And this number is the y-coordinate. It tells us the vertical location. So keep thinking, why go to the sky? Because my reasoning is when people look at a coordinate grid, many times they forget which line is which. Oh, I can't remember which one goes sideways and which one goes up and down. If you keep remembering why go to the sky, you'll always remember that the y is the vertical. Okay? So these locations are based on their distance from zero. That's called the origin, okay? The origin is the zero, zero location on the grid. It's zero for the x number line and zero for the y number line. If you see, the number is going three, two, one, zero. And then for y, it goes three, two, one, zero. So this is the origin, this corner right here, and it's zero, zero in parentheses, the origin, okay? We always, always write the x-coordinate first, okay? And by using x and y-coordinates, we can find any point on the grid. By using two sets of ordered pairs like this, we can make two points and count the distance between them. If x is 9 and y is 2, and on the other point x is 9 and y is 6, we can see we're on the same place with x, but the y is a 2 and a 6, they're 4 apart from each other by doing some simple subtraction. See that? So if we were to look at the grid, 9, 2 was the first point. Here's 9 on the x and 2 on the y. And then 9, 6 was the other point. Here's 9 on the x, 6 on the y. That's b. And we can count 1, 2, 3, 4. See? The distance is 4 apart. Now you notice that they have an a and a b on the points. Well, we label each point with an alphabetical letter to easily identify them on the grid. A is 9, 2, and B is 9, 6. When we put points from an ordered pair onto the grid, we say we're going to plot the points, or we're plotting the points, or I plot the points already. So think of the grid as your city and the streets as the X and Y lines. If I said, meet me on Main Street, you wouldn't know where on Main Street, because it could be a really long street. But if I said, meet me on Main Street and First Avenue, well, here's Main Street. I could have been anywhere there. But I said, meet me on Main Street and First Avenue. Here's First Avenue. Then you know I'm right here at this corner. See? Because I gave you an ordered pair. I gave you Main Street and First Avenue. Okay? So if we wanted to find these points on the grid, remember the first one is X and the second one is Y. So 6, 3... We would find 6 on the x-axis and go up, and look, there's 6, 3. See it? 6 on the x, 3 on the y. All right? Sorry about my focus. If we wanted to find 3, 8, we would go to 3 on the x and go up to 8 for the y. There it is. We want to find 7, 1. We go to 7 on the x right here and 1 on the y. It's right there. Now, what if we wanted to find 0, 4? That means the x is 0. Well, look, if this is 7, and this is 6, and this is 5 on the x, then this must be 0 for the x. And the y is 4, see? So we want to go up to 4. So it's actually on the y's line, see? There is no location for the x. We just go to 4 on the y. If we wanted to find the opposite for 0, then we would go to... 4 on the x line and 0 in height. See how this is the height going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It's going up. So we're at a 0 height, but we're at 4 on the x line. See?
There's no y. It's at zero. Just remember y go to the sky so that the y is the one going up and down. All right? So now you know what an ordered pair is. You know what a coordinate grid is. You know how to plot points. And you know what the two numbers in the parentheses mean. And you should be able to do this on your own, right? You know where the origin is, okay? So now you can try plotting some points, and I'll see you next video. Bye.